What is up guys? We are back with some more of the Thaumaturge and not gonna lie, I was doing a bunch of side quests and I hate how it always defaults you back to like the main quest. So I did a portion of it, which was just a, a fight pertaining to the lover of our father. And so she had the undercover or secret police organization coming after her. So we fought them, uh, knocked their asses out, and then we helped her flee. And so now we're just stopping here at the bar first uh, before anything to continue on the quest. So aside from that though, I did do some side quests as well, which got me another flaw. So I ended up getting the selfish or selfishness flaw. Got this from our cousin. Uh, he pretty much paid someone to like get drunk and see if they could balance on a balcony and they fell to their death. So after they fell to their death, you know, he basically days, tried Mr. to cover Nidges. it up and whatnot. And we got it you out of him. This guy? No fight though. Mr. Nidges, I'll pay it back, I swear. They're running tomorrow at Makoto Frey's track. I'll win. Deal? We had one as long as you paid your dues. I'm begging you. Quit your bawling. You'll get tear stains on my rug. It's Persian. You look tired. Want a coffee? What kind of performance was that? He owes me money. And what did he spend it on? A house? His kids? On the races. This time it was a sure bet. Sure. On a horse that stumbled in front of a speakeasy and had to be shot. I want my 12 rubbles. Please! Don't let him! I only owe 12 rubbles! Can I cover his debt with his money? Yes! I beg you! I promise you, sir, I'll repay every kopeka. Well, you've got a sponsor. All right. Get him out of here. So, how'd you take it? Black or cream and sugar? Black, strong, no sugar. Gang, 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 gang. Tell me what brings you here. There's a certain woman who would like to disappear from Warsaw. Conventional transportation isn't an option. What exactly do you mean by disappear? I don't want to kill her. It's Warsaw, Victor. We have a lot of options. We can ship her out of the country, send her to a brothel, kill her, and use the corpse to fertilize geraniums. So be careful what you wish for. I'm looking for safe and discreet transportation to Vienna. On the double quick. Sadly, the ships can't help. That's not our line. Passport policy is a nightmare. And smuggling will get you the news. Not worth it. But I know a man, Javier... Javier something or other. Fine, um, although finding him might be tricky. You know where I can find him? Thank the gods of chaos that you've got a great buddy like me. You should talk to Forman Romek. He usually recruits day laborers in the Povishta district. He knows everybody there. Thanks. I'll head off. Not so fast. Have you been to Povishta since you got back from your travels? Yes, as it happens. A rather unique neighborhood. Fishermen, porters, and craftsmen, all trying to make ends meet. Is that all you've noticed? More or less. Stuff goes on there that make your blood curdle. The locals can't stand outsiders and protect their own. Don't go around grilling random people. Thanks. I can handle it from here. Your coffee. Talk to Foreman Romek. Let's do that first before we find Javier at uh, Pavasil. 
And hopefully we are able to get enough of the Thaumaturgy EXP to get the second point. So then we can pretty much get our next Valley Tour close to it. Depends who's asking. I'm looking for Javier. I need to talk to him. Here, our mamas teach us we ain't supposed to talk to strangers. Can we spare ourselves the verbal wrangling? I'm in sort of a hurry. A hurry? Well then, my dear sir, let's make sure you get on your way. To the hospital. Alrighty, I guess we're starting off with a fight. We got someone with... Makes you immune to your actions being slowed or interrupted. And we got invulnerability. So uh, let's we'll take this guy's thing off first. Vulnerability is annoying. Super annoying actually. And then let's see. We'll do planned. What was that buff he gave? Speeds up their skills. messing us up though oh man I feel like we're dead Man, that did a lot. <laughs> Draw some of that health back. That's good. That's good. And we should be able to take him out now. Oh, wait. How the heck did you survive that? <laughs> That happened. <laughs> Excuse me, officer. What do you mean not allowed? Sergeant Kadash, folks gotta work there. Feed their families. We're conducting an operation. More like farting around. My taxpayer rubles are paying for you to chow down on herring. Let me through to the wharf. And what are you here for? Sergeant Karash, I'm here on official business. Of course. Boys, let this gent through. Well, ain't So we picked up that ID shot. from the dudes we had to what beat up um, when I was unfortunately not paying attention to doing the main quest. So we picked up that ID and now we don't have to, I guess, do a fight in order to get in. Just reeks of, reeks of everything in here. Bad decisions. Snuff box. 
Scattered clothes. And a punching bag. The blow struck with gloves left a clear trace on the bag. It has the force of a rushing river, the unpredictability of, the unpredictability of a flood, and the joy of the first drops of spring rain. Javier has created a veritable bachelor's den for himself on the bars. This is where he lives, trains hard, celebrates victories in the company of women, or has them console him after losses. It seems that his life revolves around fighting. I should look around the neighborhood for a sports club or a ring. I don't know why they tell me to get off the barge if I already got to head out, right? Oh. Enough of this, Narishkit. Say who you are. And what you're doing on my turf. Another thaumaturge? First, show yourself, coward. You're in no position to raise your voice. It's better that way. We can talk as equals. I'll put it another way. How come you're pestering me about Javier? Your salutor. I don't know him. He's a debok. He looks around for lost souls who don't know better and go where they shouldn't. Terrifying. I didn't know I was on someone's stuff. People here have got enough problems of their own without some goyish outsider coming and giving them crap. Get to the point. I'm looking for a smuggler. What for? For smuggling. What else? I need Javier. Is that all? I took you for someone else. I can introduce you to Javier. You interested? I know Javier likes to fight, so should we head to the boxing ring? Something like that. I see you've sniffed out what you can. Shall we? Yep, I guess so. Actually, I know who the confused us with. Earlier. Nothing of interest to you. Of course he wouldn't tell us. Eternal neighborhood affairs. That's all? No extra conditions or requests? Tongue of a devil, heart of an angel. That's me. Lead the way. You sure changed your tune quickly. Welcome to Povishla. Fighting first, hugging later. Ariel Rafi. Stick with me and they won't touch a hair on your head. Just don't come on Saturdays. Welcome to the dungeon. A mecca of gambling and violence. You see the box above the ring? I'll wait there. Make yourself comfortable. Put a bet on the fight. And come find me. Of yours fight list. Beaten in the second round, Dennis yielded in the third. Lost bet. Okay. Something over here. It looked like it. Boxing gloves. Excuse me, are you ladies fighting here? Yep, Bessie and Alice Gordon from Buffalo Bills. They're a problem? No, not at all. I'm wondering how you ended up here. Getting even. We got a score to settle. Ugh, sure do. With Barstick. That fucker was going with me for a while. Only he didn't mention. He was dating me too. 
We're gonna jog his memory. American style. Okay. With violence. I see. Good luck in the fight. Wasn't expecting that. Suffers from a serious hip injury, but that's just one of his secrets. The trace on his gloves is identical to the one I found on the barge. Javier is Barzevic, and Barzevic is Javier. Rose trying to make me look like a fool. What? Talk to this guy. Place your bets, ladies and gents. Don't miss the chance to earn some dough. How about a bet? Who's fighting? You're awful twitchy. You want a spree or angling to rat us out? Who let you in here? Forgive me, sir. I'm at the start. Bad case of the jimmies? We all know that feeling. You're in our dungeon here, gent. No rules, no restraints. That's how we play around here. But you was asking who's fighting. Our pride and joy. A real canny lad from right here in Povishla. Barstin. And in the other corner? Everybody who wants to take him on. All of them against one. Sort of a local tradition. So, you bet in there, ain't you? Yeah, we'll like plus a bet. The fight. On Barshchik or on everybody else? Oh, uh, everybody I'll else. I'll put the rubble <laughs> on everybody else. Whatever you say. You take IOUs? Sure, why not? Get riding. Just to be sure there's nothing else to discover, though. You're fretting, Ariel. His hips are fine. Shouldn't you be at home right now? With your husband? And you? What are you doing here? Barstik. Meet Victor Sholsky. He has business with Javier. And he'll do anything to meet him. Well, now we know he's Javier. Anything? Anything. Victor is a tomaturge. It might make for a fantastic main attraction. What do you think? Sorry, what? What? A magician in the ring? Yeah. Enough kidding around, Barstuk. I know you are Javier. Well... You almost impressed me. Javier Sanchez via Conejito Ramirez. Now that we know you ain't just anybody, maybe you can show us if you're the real deal, but just some stiff from downtown. You getting in the ring? Bruh. <laughs> All right. I'll throw hands. Yeah, I like him. Gotta remind you who I am. Señoras y señores. A slight change of Fuck glass. around find out. I won't be fighting. I know, I know. Barschek is the best. But listen. Marcel and his brothers-in-law versus a son of Shurmirsha. A swell, a magician. Victor Shursky. Don't embarrass me. So you heal, you're immune to certain states. Oops.
Then we can kill him. Everybody loses focus. I don't know, I think I like this one to make everybody lose focus. Then we'll go ahead and punch. Take you out. Bye. And we'll have oh boy. Pull up on me though, like that. Like, what I do to you, bro? We'll use Velas, this is the first time. Oh wait, I thought we were about to... Kill. How much health you got left now? Okay, I was about to say. Give them time. Does Victor deserve the neighborhood's respect? Maybe the Chicos from Fifth Alley will make mincemeat out of him. You can do it, Victor. All right, that's it. Enough with the diversion. Let's stock business. Bueno. He's had enough. Did you see him? Not such a weak Chico after all. How do you feel? How do I'm I feel? to do business. Tell me, gringo. How can Javier help you today? What was that whole fast for? What for? What for? Because Barstick's got a sore hip. That's what for. Mentiras y calumnias. Get to the point. I need a smuggler. I know, Marco. Say what you need me to smuggle. Who? One lady needs to discreetly leave the Russian partition and get to Vienna. For how much? Boy? How much do you need for this? The costs of transportation, bribes, paperwork. She can afford it. Let's just say she's quite far up in high society. A rich chica wants to go to Vienna? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure somebody is looking for this clafter. Otherwise, she'd get on a train. If they catch us, it's la muerte para nuestros amigos. However... Fortune favors chutzpah, after all. Al diablo. The river giveth, 
The river taketh away. Vámonos. Does that mean I'll get a share of the dough? No. We don't like each other that much. So, what's now? Now, go get the lady. And we'll meet at Port Praga at night. But tell that clafter of yours that it ain't gonna be a tea party. All right, all right, we get Adios. it. We get it. Hold it, Tempermancer, for I am White Roman. White you are. Roman, I don't know. You are Victor Shulsky, son of Shrut Mischa. Your family is famous for its powerful Tempermancers. I am the most powerful of the entire family. This will make you a worthy opponent. This city is too small for two masters of Tempermancy. I am a master of Tempermancy, White Roma, and I challenge you to a duel. Everything is at stake. Okay. The winner will be declared Why King are you talking of so Tempermancy. Slow? If you insist. The memorable moment is here. To me, devoted visitors. To me, salutars. Oh, God. Use 80% damage. Y'all got a lot of health. That is for sure. I think this might be the smart move to do because now we got suffering spread on the others or at least they should be spread yeah see he'll die then we can focus on the next dude or we'll do extra damage or interrupt when you go you go then okay yeah we can we can interrupt I think this will do a lot of damage. Give me that health. Oh wait, no, that wasn't the healing one. Thank. Almost dead.
I gotta commend him. He he really trying. That way we can get an attack off early enough by reducing his focus real quick. Because we're fast enough. And just like that, you're gone. I hope that you also took a valuable and instructive lesson from this. What? I accept the title of King of the Temple Mancers. I would suggest that neither you nor your salutor strain yourselves anymore. Your triumph is temporary, Viktor Shulsky. I have not yet said my last word. I will find you when you are ready for the next fight. That's what I'm afraid of. Yeah, that was like one interesting thing to, <laughs> to put in here in the middle of the main quest. Mr. Shulsky. Is Rasputin here? Okay, why are they over there? We got Rasputin there. Okay, I guess we'll just go talk to you. I hope that you've had a hospitable stay. You have uh, unsettling friends, truly. The Nadazhinskys are reserved and boring, unlike that uh, Grigory. What do you think of him? I don't. I'd like to leave this place now, if possible. Uh... Is this going to end the act? I hope it doesn't. We'd better get a move on. We'll see. Finally, don't forget my luggage. How many dresses and pairs of stockings do you need? As many as I'd like. I have some very profitable secrets in that chest. Blackmail? Insurance. Correspondence with various people who aren't entirely aware that I didn't burn their letters. Do I understand that this time around I'll be lugging the chest myself? Hurry up. Around this ain't a museum. Head down. That building in front of you. The entrance is around the corner. You pick some very interesting people to work with. What's that? From now on, that's your problem. Entrance around the corner, right? Read this stuff real quick. That's police unit orders. Forge documents. 
more forged documents. All right, cool. Oh, let's listen to this too. See, we are so close to like that next level. I hope you know what you're doing. Did you want a pumpkin carriage and some glass slippers, senora? Smuggling in as romantic as that. Javier, yes? I've outgrown fairy tales. I'm here to make a deal. I left that fucking chest by the door. I could barely lug it. Big as a whale's two heads. We gonna do something or just stand here and stare? The police at the entrance have me a little concerned. Did something happen we should worry about? Esos pinches pendejos can't keep their hands to themselves. Someone fucking filched a weapons transport and now the police are shitting themselves. They're looking high and low, even under hookers' skirts. Somos profesionales. We'll keep out of sight, and it'll be gone, Skeet. So what's the plan? What are we doing? You'll get papers. Austrian ones. Almost authentic, but don't go flashing them left and right. Then it's off to the pier, and onto a boat out of the city. Then a steamship upriver. In Krakow, a transfer to a Vienna-bound train. He'll be there in a few days. Si, sí, bueno. As soon as we agree on the money. If this is going to work, then we need to get going. Ariel, you go to the puerto and call the little captain. La señora will get changed. And we'll follow after you. Victor will come too. You'll see if anyone's following us. Что? I'll do what? What you paid for. Via Candios, my friend. Agita Nar, Shaifella. Alright, let's head to the pier. Is there anything over here, though? Of interest? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Damn, he mad. You damn white fucker. Oh, you've ruined my life. <laughs> His name is Cuckold. <laughs> Your chica did what she wanted. Victor, tell him I'm right. Two of you? I'll fuck you both up. I'm going to get killed because someone disrespected the sanctity of marriage. Or enemies. They yeah, want to drop his stuff. See, that's hella damage just to do off rip like that.
Jeez. <laughs> Got him down. And it's like we don't got that much left to do now. I could just pass. Have you ever considered celibacy? Your business would go better. But what kind of life would that be, Senora? You got a lot of nerve after sleeping with our dad. Can't go around that. Never be too careful on what to explore here. Gotta make sure we not fall into like a trap or something. But the boat can't hold that. There is no choice. If God wills it, a broom can shoot. Load it up. Vamonos. There's no time. I need another word with Victor. Senora. Time to pay up. Time's running out. I need the knowledge you promised me. What are you guys lagging around for? Hurry up! Your father moved in the circles of people who shared his views, who would like to see Poland back on the map. Do you understand what I mean? He was a patriot. I didn't expect he could have gotten involved with such a lofty idea. He secretly dreamed of creating a force that would give true hope to the Polish people. One that might till the scales in favor of the independence fighters. Loka, quickly! He believed he didn't need a great army, just a handful of daredevils with extraordinary abilities. You getting in the boat or not? I need to go. Your father was a wonderful man, Victor. And you remind me of him a great deal. Thank you. For yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, who are these people? How can I find them? I don't know. They hide in the shadows. Good luck. 
I trust that you'll find your grimoire, Viktor Shulsky. Adieu. Keep an eye on those bequeathal papers. If there's a problem with payment, we'll reach out to you. Why are you so distrustful? When a poor man eats a chicken, one of them is sick. Amigos. That's what it gets. You think they're dead? They had no chance. Clad in clay and the fury of the sons of Israel will arise to crush their enemies. Get out of here. Golems follow blood. The farther away you are, the better. Well then. <laughs> I don't believe it. Salutus can't physically manifest. Tell her to have you. Look at this guy teaching Kabbalah to a Jew. That was a golem, you schmuck. And it will pursue them until their blood is lost in the abysses of Sheol. You understand? What am I supposed to do to get rid of him? The golem is going to look for you until he kills you, and all of those of your blood. That is, unless you can figure out why he was sent after you, you must have really gotten under somebody's skin. I haven't done anything to anyone. That means someone of your blood did it. Do you hear me? Ask your blood. Get lost. Not exactly my favorite person right now. I guess there's nothing for me here. That was that was interesting, not gonna lie. Let's see, we have oops. Get out of Port Praga. And that we shall try to do. There's like not much for me to like read or investigate, huh? I could talk to someone. I have to get out of the port. You think we didn't hear you? Now shut yeah, we paid them not to see us, but not enough to ignore this. And what else are you going to tell them? Smugglers pay police officers not to patrol the pier too closely.
Standing under the street length, police officers were shuffling their feet. True, they took bribes to turn a blind eye to smugglers, but no one said there would be so much noise. This continues, they will actually have to do something about it. Police officers are about to become interested in what's going on right under their noses. I could encourage them to be more fastidious in carrying out their duties. Was that the sound of a fuck up? Shouldn't we check it out? Like hell we should. They don't pay me enough for that. Gentlemen, I have to get out of the port. It's urgent. What's a good citizen like you in such a hurry for? Papers. I thought I wouldn't have to resort to this, but since you insist. Of course, sir. We are sorry. Go right ahead. Right, well, that helped. And just notice we can up uh, our dimension word. So now that means I should be able to complete that side quest, but let's first get out of here. Uh, don't tell me I got to fight. Why do I got to fight? <laughs> Didn't I just show those dudes my ID? Uh, let's see. Yep, now you're vulnerable. Let's switch. Use you there. Beat up our next action. After we spread the, uh, the suffering state too. Oh dang, you know what I realized? I didn't even start the, uh... I didn't start my suffering thing to reduce damage. Okay, we're definitely trying to find our way out. Let me make sure there's nothing else over here to read. Actually, it doesn't even matter. We got everything we need for these first salutars, pretty much. But hopefully this doesn't end uh, the first act for me. Oops. Damn. Don't even think of reaching for your magic book. Fania's pistol has a very sensitive trigger. The second he moves, I'll blow his brains out, Chief. Thought we was on the Chief, same side. Let's do our best not to have Vanya shoot you in the head. All right. All you have to do is tell us where Svetlana Petrovna is. I'm running to a phone. There's been an accident. I think the pier collapsed. Was Svetlana Romanceva there? There must be some mistake, Chief. The mistake was beating up my brother. 
You did seriously rough up my men at Romancewa's apartment. You can hand over the ID too. He won't need it anymore. Svetlana. We've got to find her, Victor. Am I under suspicion of anything other than an evening walk? We know you helped Rumianso escape. And I know she was sleeping with your father. I told you. Damn. He had no secrets from me. I was helping him. I'm running out of patience. Where is she? And what do the secret police want from her? That woman was a Gordian knot. I know that she spent years compiling all sorts of compromising material against the Tsar's government. She was a traitor. We were observing her, but she managed to get everything out of her apartment. I need to know if her knowledge could threaten the security of the nation. If you want something from me, you just need to ask. I have a better idea. You tell me what you know, and I... I know where your papa's little black book is. Oh, there we go. Pro quo? I want to know who stole my father's grimoire. This time, you go first. As far as I know, all Svetlana's secrets went with her to the bottom of the Vistula. <sighs> Should we take him to the Citadel, Chief? No, Vanya. We'll finish this here. Was not expecting that. Are you going to blame me for that murder, though? Why did you help Svetlana? It was purely business. Her freedom in exchange for information. And? Did she tell you what you wanted? Yeah, not really. Yes. Where's my father's grimoire? Look for it in uh, Stanislav's circle of old friends people who could take advantage of a missing grimoire thaumaturges do you know who they are where i can find them no but once you do don't neglect to inform me and watch out they're very dangerous people I need to get out of here. Well, we're trying. I'll give you that. Everybody keeps stopping us. You're finally here. We've been waiting for you. I'm afraid I was boring your charming sister with my chatter. Ah, oh, nonsense. I'll leave you two alone. You look tired. Is everything all right? Do you need my help? I didn't expect a home visit. I wanted to find out if Svetlana managed to leave safely. He didn't. I'm afraid Svetlana is dead. 
I was afraid of this. How did it happen? I saw a golem. A golem? From Jewish legends? Is it a salutor? Yes, and it turned out to be a very real salutor. A material one. I didn't think that was even possible. And what does it have to do with Shvetwana? Did the golem kill her? You could say that. The golem sank her boat by collapsing the roof over the pier. Svetlana intended to live off of selling other people's secrets. Secrets can be deadly. Do you want to know what she shared with me? You're not proposing blackmailing anyone with anything, are you? Nonsense. Of course not. As I told you, I want the world to see my truth. I want to stop the annihilation of countless human beings. But on my own, I am like Cassandra. Yet, with Svetlana's knowledge and you by my side, no one will have any choice but to believe me. I'm intrigued. The question is, can you bear the burden that she also carried? Can you say which secret of Svetlana's you mean? She had a whole chest full of them. That wasn't in the chest. And now it's only in my memory. Will you tell me what this is about? Not here, no. Get some rest first. At our next meeting, at the Narizhinsky's. It's safe there, for now. Will you ever let me in on the secret? For now, I don't want to risk it. I don't even want to talk about it here. That your sister can remain uninvolved. One more question. Might this golem cause you any trouble? Probably. I'm sure I'll find out soon. I think we need to have a word. How do you know people like this, Rasputin? I don't think I need to explain to you who I invite over. And I do think I have the right to know who to expect in my own home. First Nyejits, now a gloomy hermit. And ladies of the night have started hanging around outside the windows. Are they also friends of yours? Uh, women? What, what are you talking about? Who are those women? Horace Victor, prostitutes. Women of easy virtue, daughters of Corinth. Courtesans, moths, hookers, floozies. I've been seeing two girls around here recently. They stand out on the street and peek into our windows. Maybe Abaurus is playing a prank. This can wait. Ligia, I'm really dead on my feet, but there's one more thing we need to have a word about. I wonder what I don't know yet. How long have you known your chief? What does that matter? So you knew he worked for the Ohrana? Yes. You'd have found him in the end anyway, but he asked me not to tell you right away. All right, well, we'll try to play nice with her. Each of us has various relationships we're tangled up in. But I think we should start talking about them more often. Agreed. I'll only add that a contact like him is very useful in business. I'm guessing he knows how to arrange contacts for you. I'm sure he often invites you to all sorts of soirees and receptions, right? I don't always accept. It seems like we've each got our own miracle worker. I know who he is, and I treat him very cautiously. Plus, we've already established that you don't report to me about your acquaintances. Besides, it was Papa who introduced him to me all those years ago. What's the real reason we're talking about Konyechkin? I saw him once more, at Port Praga. Uh, 
What were you doing there? I helped Fiatwama. She wanted to flee the country. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Do you know what forces you're playing with? You know full well who she is. Who she was. Sorry, what? Svetlana is dead. She was just setting off on a lovely voyage when a golem appeared and... Svetlana is dead. We're finished. They'll put us both in prison. What will become of us? Nothing. Maybe your devoted secret police chief will reveal something. Perhaps you should ask him. Yes, I know he's from the Ukraine. He's bragged to me about it himself. Well, maybe your magic monk is up to something, hmm? No, I've had enough. Don't say another word. I desperately need to be alone right now. You stay oh, looking mad at us. Jeez. They're telling us to go to sleep, uh, which we'll do. Except, so let's see. I still have that side quest. Okay, so cool. We can complete that. Or I can complete that because I'll be doing that pretty much like off stream. But guys, hope you enjoyed. Now that we're in Act 2, we're going to go to sleep. And that'll be where we start off the next episode. So make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. And also subscribe to the channel because it lets me know you enjoy the content you see right here. But with that said, stay sharp. Later.